Hello YouTube, I'm Jonah and this is my wife Nancy. So we bought this Ford Transit crew van to convert into a camper van. Join us in some of our van life travel adventures. And if you find my video interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. Also hit that notification bell. Okay, it's now Sunday morning. So let's take a look at our Jackery lithium battery and it's at 85%. And the only thing that was plugged in was our fan on the van and it's uh, only sucked up about 15% since it's a USB fan. Check out how bright it is. Looks like it's gonna be a nice day. Now nine uh, in the morning, so a nice nine hours. And it's only at uh, 85, it's only at 85%. This jackery is great. All right, Good morning everyone. Okay, first time sleeping in the parking lot in Toronto. I'm gonna check this place out. Okay, looks like we got a few other uh, RVers and um, some van, van people here also. So that's the street of La Lower Sherbourne, right there. And that is uh, Queens Quay East. So there is another lot right beside this one, but uh, coming in late at night, it looked very sketchy and kind of enclosed in. So we went to this spot over here, which was a little bit more open. Although the parking lot was dark, it had a little bit more lighting coming from the street lights. And this is the pay booth last night, which I used. Now it was really dark last night and there's no light above it. So I had to use a little bit of my cell phone to give me some lighting, but uh, we got through it. And this is our pay, pay booth right here. Okay, there's uh, three garbage cans over there, but don't be deceived. Those garbage cans are locked. So you really can't use them. So keep the garbage with you and you could probably drop it off on your next gas station. So this is where we slept last night. If you guys know of any other place close to here or even closer to downtown, put, that, put it down in a comment below. And the entrance of the parking lot is through a lower Sherbourne. And it is a one way street. And the only way to get in through here is through this road here, Lakeshore. One way street, that way, and take a right into the uh, parking lot. Okay, about well, 9 30 in the morning, quick walk here to the riverfront in uh, Toronto. Right, uh, it's only a, just a block away from where we parked our uh, transit van for the night. There's actually a beautiful riverfront view over here. A lot of people jogging and biking and just enjoying the view. And over there in the distance is actually Sugar Beach and we'll be able to see one of the big green cargo ships unloading its cargo and I think it's Sugar. And that island over there from a distance, that should be the airport, uh, Porter Airport, where uh, Porter Airline is uh, located. And a big shout to my brother, Liam. And it looks like they're uh, doing some work over here, maybe extending the uh, walkway or boardwalk. If you guys know, write down in the comment below.
And check out their outdoor patio over here by George Brown with nice beautiful red umbrellas. And now approaching Sugar Beach. So walking around over here, we're gonna go to uh, Sugar Beach. Still by the riverfront. Got our uh, dancing falls, dancing water uh, fountain. And you can see everybody relaxing by the beach over here. Little man-made beach. And over there from the distance, uh, there's a the big uh, sugar in factory where the, uh, the ship is. Right over there, and the cranes. There's one of the cranes actually working right now too. something might be interesting you can see how relaxing it is this in front of the uh, riverfront okay. there's a crane picking up I think it's sugar but uh, I don't know maybe you can see it comment below Transferring it into another uh, silo or container. You can see as it comes down, and boom, there it goes. Interesting. And it goes down to pick up another another bucket. Okay, we're leaving the parking lot at uh, Toronto. We're actually near our Sugar Beach right over there. So we're gonna be on our way to pick up Madeline and then we're gonna go to the uh, Manila Festival or the Filipino Festival. Okay, we're a lot. We arrived over here. We're at the corner of Bathurst, and we're gonna check out the uh, Filipino festival right here. I was looking for a purple Barong Tagalog, but I could not find it.
one. And that one too, yes, yes. Okay, what's this one here? Oh, Torong. Oh, okay, we're gonna have it later. <laughs> Looks like we got some nice shish kebabs here also. We're gonna jell in that one in a couple of minutes. Nancy has uh, dinoko un. Yeah, Filipino delicacy. But you probably don't want to know what it is. <laughs> mm. I really like sweet and good. Oh, that was good with my dad, but it's okay. The only thing we didn't see here is uh, pig roast on a spit, lechon. This is my dad. He makes the best lechon.
Halo Halo Special So I hope you guys liked our little adventure in Toronto with a little taste of Manila. And if you like my video and find it interesting, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, comment and subscribe. See you in the next video. Oh,